Welcome back to the channel, I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and this week I'm looking at the Knob Creek Small Batch 9-year-old bourbon. So let me get into the glass and I'll tell you a bit more about it. Now, this is from the Beam Suntory Distillery, which is a huge distillery. It's the Beam Distillery down in Kentucky in America. And it's, of course, part of the Beam Suntory family, which was responsible for a lot of whiskies in Ireland, in Japan, and in America. And this one, the Knob Creek, gets its name from an area in Kentucky called Knob Creek, which is where Abraham Lincoln grew up. So they're kind of really leaning into the heritage of Kentucky with this one. And they're really saying that this is a bourbon from Kentucky for Kentucky. It uses a very nice straight down the middle bourbon mash bill of 75% corn, 13% rye and 12% malted barley. So it's going to give you a nice bit of sweetness balanced with some spice and a bit of round caramel richness to really kind of amp up the classic bourbon profile. It's also aged for at least nine years in heavily charred white oak American barrels. So it's going to be one of those classic bourbons that just delivers all those flavors in a really nice package. It does come in at 100 proof, so it is a nice bit of weight behind it. It's gonna deliver a lot of flavor in this glass. There was a brief period from about 2016 to 2020 where Knob Creek weren't able to put an age statement on the bourbon, so they just called it the small batch bourbon. But since 2020, the nine year age statement is back on this whiskey. And I think that is good because it shows there's a bit of legitimacy behind it because if they didn't have the age statement on it, you wouldn't really know how old it is. But having this nine year age statement means you know what you're getting in the bottle because it's kind of hard to find older age dated American whiskies, especially at a very nice, very affordable price that Knob Creek has. Speaking of affordable, when I was doing my review of Basil Hayden's bourbon, which you should check out if you haven't already, I did see a few comments from people saying that Basil Hayden's is a good bourbon. It's from the same distillery as Knob Creek, but it's a more entry level bourbon because it's got that lower proof, because it's a bit softer up front. Generally speaking, people who like bourbon might move from Basil Hayden's into Knob Creek because it does have that extra bit of weight, it has a better extra bit of age, and it just maybe a more rounded bourbon. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how it compares against the Basil Hayden's. And if you want to see me maybe try a head-to-head -head blind of the Basil Hayden's against the Knob Creek, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to try that video out. It does though have a different mash bill and of course that different age range than the Basil Hayden. So while I'm expecting to sign some similarities to the Basil Hayden's bourbon, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be standing up on its own as a very nice, dependable bourbon. So let's go in for the nose on the Knob Creek. Okay, jumping out of the uh, glass, I'm getting peanut oil, like really nice, rich, peanutty notes. Like this is a common note you'll get from the Beam Distillery, but that peanut note really jumps out on top of a nice bit of vanilla and some really nice rounded oak. Like I said, this was nine years in heavily charred oak barrels. So you're gonna get a lot of oak influence coming through from those barrels and it's really delivered. There's a nice bit of spice, but definitely a good bit of sweetness. Like when you char those barrels, yeah, you release the oak char, yeah, you release that kind of spiciness from the oak, but you're also getting that nice sweetness coming through from the oak. And that's really delivering a lot of vanilla here. Mm, it's almost candied like, it's almost kind of um, almost between a candy floss and a marshmallow when you get that really heavy sugary sweetness. That's kind of what it's delivering here. Yeah, that kind of heavy sweet caramel that's coming through. And maybe um, a little bit of grainy sweetness again, rounding it out as I'm sitting with it, as I'm kind of going through the notes, a bit of grain sweetness, almost kind of um, almost kind of like biscuity, like that, that smell of biscuits when they're in the oven, that grainy sweetness coming through. Definitely nice, definitely smells quite rich and rounded, so I'm gonna go in for the palate and see how that delivers. Okay, it's a very nice, rich, rounded, creamy palate on this whiskey. A nice bit of oak, yeah, again, heavy on the peanuts, like as I'm letting it sit now, there's a lot of peanutty notes coming through. Very nice. Definitely moving away from that caramel peanut brittle into that kind of peanut oil note you get. Very nice, very rich, very flavorful. Again, like it's a classic bourbon, you're gonna get the vanilla spice, you're gonna get that oak spice, you're gonna get a little bit of char coming through. I might go in again and see if I can find more of that char. It's not 
heavily leaning into the char on the palate, at least on that first sip. It's more with that vanilla, more that kind of spiciness from the oak. A bit of spiciness from the rye, but maybe more towards the oak than that rye. So we're gonna go in again and see what I can taste. I am getting a bit of that oak char, almost like um like a cocoa powder, like a really dark, rich cocoa powder coming through. As well as maybe on the back end, a touch of that like kind of leathery kind of note coming through. It's quite mild, quite nice, but quite mild. It's definitely leading up front with that sweetness, with that oak, with that little bit of char and that cocoa powder. I will say this is a hundred proof, but it's not drinking like it's at a hundred proof. I've had whiskies at 80 proof that would feel hotter than this. This is nice, rich and incorporated into the whiskey and I think it's delivering a very nice sip. So let's talk about the finish on the Knob Creek. Okay, on the finish, as it's sitting there, nice bit of warmth coming through, nice bit of spiciness coming through. The oak spice is fading away, leaving me with that char, getting some maybe baking spices coming through, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, things like that. And a little bit of fruitiness actually coming up here now, almost like a, an orange peel, that kind of, you know, the rich, kind of dense orange peel, citrusy note, that's coming through. And that spiciness is lingering on nicely. Nice bit of heat, nice bit of warmth. Just a very nice, nice finish on the whiskey. It's not overly complex, it's not hugely developing. There's a bit of peanut there, a bit of nuttiness coming through, but it's not the most complex of whiskies. It's a good delivery from nose into palate and from palate into finish. And let's face it, if you're a bourbon drinker, you probably know about Knob Creek, you know it's a good bottle. It delivers a lot of flavor, a lot of profile at a very reasonable price, especially with that nine-year-old age statement. Like, it is, I'm sure, very hard to find a bottle of whiskey that delivers this rich, rounded, dependable a bourbon profile at that age range, at that proof point, at that price point. Like this is a very nice dependable bottle. It's not the most exciting bottle in the world, but if you're looking for a bourbon to have on the shelf, Knob Creek is definitely one to consider. It's definitely up there with those other bourbons that you should definitely have on your shelf, like the Wild Turkey 101, which you should check out my review up there. Just a good workhorse bourbon that delivers a lot, can stand up to a cocktail, can stand up to an old fashioned, and just be a very, very enjoyable drink. So what do you think about Knob Creek? Do you think it's as good as Basil Hayden's or not as good? Let me know down in the comments below, but I'm definitely gonna keep on enjoying this. I put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays and cocktail recipes on Fridays, so if you wanna see more like that, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Sláinte.